Okay, hello guys. I'm here to do a most recent pickups video. Um, some of this stuff was bought uh, the end of December and the remainder of this month, which wasn't a gang of stuff to buy because nothing really came out this month. I feel like nothing really comes out as of lately, period, since the ending of fall of last year, probably like the whole last year to right now, nothing has really came out like that, enough of, you know, like a whole lot of stuff to buy that I don't already have or, um, but these are my most, uh, most recent pickups, and as you know, back in December, well, for Christmas, uh, I bought the, uh, PS5. The PS5 still... I mean, I'm just saying the way that people may have may put it here on YouTube is that if you have a Xbox or people who got the Xbox Series X when it first came out, and I believe the PlayStation came out a week after or two, I can't remember what it was, but the Xbox came out first, and the PlayStation 5 followed, I think, probably like a week after when it first came out. People made it seem like if you had the Xbox and you got the PlayStation later on that whatever that was that following week, you would be like, oh, I prefer the PlayStation over the Xbox uh, Series X because it's better. That's, for me, that, that that's just not true. <laughs> Um, to me, it's more or less on what your preference is. If you prefer, the, if you liked it, the Xbox prior tail, you still gonna like the Xbox. If you were a Sony pony to begin with, you're gonna prefer the PS5 over the Xbox Series X. So, I've been having my Xbox Series X for two years now, and I got the PlayStation, uh, the PS5 for Christmas. And if you ask my comparison of the both, truth be told is I still prefer the Xbox Series X. The PlayStation, if you, I'm just not used to the ecosystem. So it's not like, it's not like, oh, when I start, like when I first got it, that first, well, Christmas day, a little bit after Christmas, the week after, I was like, oh, this looks different. The, it, it seemed like it looked different at first, but once I got used to having it, I'm like, yeah, I, truth be told, I barely play it. I still stick to my Xbox Series X. So this is more or less, people try to make it out of something that it wasn't like, you'll get the PlayStation, you're going to love the PlayStation on Xbox. Like I said, that's not true. It's just based on your preference. If you like the PlayStation prior to, you still going to like the PlayStation. If you like the Xbox prior to, I feel like you still going to like the Xbox. I don't feel if you like one prior to before, that you get the next one is not going to change your mind. This depends on what you were a fan of to begin with. And for me, I'm an Xbox fan, so I still feel the same way about the PlayStation. It's cool to have for the ex exclusives and the PlayStation Plus. Uh, I got the Platinum, whatever it is. But um, for that, it's cool, but I don't prefer it over my Xbox Series X. So... That's kind of my opinion on the PS5. It's still in the same place that it was. With me, prior to, I just got it just to have another console just to play. But I definitely do not prefer it over my Series X. So, yeah, that was a bit of a rant on the uh, PS5. But, in that time being for the PS5, I did pick up some stuff for it. Um, the first thing I got for the PS5, because I just went on a whole rant about PlayStation and PS5. Uh, PS5 and Xbox Series X, but the first thing I got for the PS5 is this. This is the uh, Black Dual uh, Sense uh, controller. I might get some of the names wrong about the PlayStation stuff because I'm really not, like I said, I'm not used to the ecosystem, so I might call something the wrong name. But yeah, this is their other Dual Sense controller. Um, the Dual Sense controller is is cool. Like when I first played it, I was like, this is weird. <laughs> like I thought it was strange. And then I uh, had it, like, it was one scene on uh, Ratchet and Clank where I went in, like, a nightclub and it was, like, playing music. And the controller was vibrating. I mean, that's cool. But, like I said, once you get used to it, it's just regular. But that's your dual sense control. That's just my opinion. I mean, some people may love it to death. I just don't. But, uh, yeah, I got the uh, black dual sense controller. So, I got this one just to have another spare controller. 
And the other controller I got that's especially for me is this one. This is the uh, pink, um, maybe the pink Nova. I, don't, I can't remember the name of it. They say I'm not good at the PlayStation names. But uh, yeah, I got this. This is the pink one. It's not the Cosmo red one. It's the pink one. Uh, yeah, I picked up this for the uh, PS5. And um, I got um, what I got Spider Man for it. Um, and that's my dog. I gotta let my dog out. Okay, I had to let my dog out for a second. But um, yeah, like I was saying, I got those two controllers for the PS5. And uh, as I said, I got um, Spider Man, uh, was it Miles Morales? I got that for the PS5. And uh, Fire Pro Wrestling. We got for the PS5, and then I, of course, subscribe to the PlayStation Plus thing. So, yeah, that's what I picked up for the PS5, and I picked up two physical games so far. I'm still gonna buy games for it, but like I said, it's not, it's not really the console that's super duper 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 for me. It's just not. But uh, yeah, I got Horizon Forbidden West. Um, yeah, it's in there. This game, like I said, when I first saw it, I was like, wow, this looks amazing. Then after when I played it for a little while, I was like, oh, it just looks normal. So, uh, yeah, Horizon Forbidden West, I got that. I know it may seem like I'm like, like, why do you own PlayStation? You don't like it that much. It's this, to me, it's not like what people kind of, If like I said, if you're originally, if you're a fan of it, you're going to say those things about it. It's like if you ask me about the Xbox. I'm going to tell you that it's fantastic. It's great. I feel like PlayStation people sell me the same way when it comes to the PlayStation. It's just like I said, it's your preference. But yeah, Horizon Forbidden West, I got that. And so, and this game also I got uh, Ratchet and Clank. Um, this is actually inside of the console right now. But um, so far, this is my favorite game on the PS5. So you want to see what I mean? Like, you would think that I would like God of War. I forgot I got God of War for that too. I barely played God of War. But uh, yeah, this is my favorite game so far for the PS5. It's just, like I said, it's just the ecosystem and the buttons, the controllers, I'm just not used to. So, uh, yeah, but, um, yeah, I got Ratchet and Clank for the PS5. And two other things I got that's not video game related. Um, I got another hoodie from Dark Sport, which, you know, has wolves on it and is the Black Panther uh, Dark Sport hoodie. Um, this is a gym hoodie, as I said before, you know what Dark Sport is. You probably should look it up because they make really dope um basically like gym clothes gym apparel and it's like well like good quality this is a size medium it's um it's good quality made it's not cheap the hoodies are about 65 dollars so when i get them shipped to me they're about roughly around like 72 for the hoodies so i got like a bunch of pants and hoodies and stuff from dark sport so uh yeah but this is the uh black panther one like this i have the I have the Venom one that was from that one, uh, that particular um, collection. And I got this one, which is the Black Panther plum color um, hoodie from uh, Dark Sports. So, yeah, that's another thing. And another thing I got Black Panther related, I was going to Mac. I went to Mac. That's a makeup brand, if you don't know. Um, I went to Mac with my mom. Well, I basically took my mom to Mac for, I can't remember what it was for. It was for no reason. It wasn't Christmas. It wasn't her birthday. She just wanted me to buy her some foundation. It had no cause for me to buy her foundation. I just bought it because she said so. So, I got, um, I saw this on the countertop. So, I was like, let me just get that. It is the uh, Black Panther. Um, basically, it's a lipstick. It's like, I don't know, they roughly around $18, $20, something like that. But uh, the Black Panther um, lipstick has like the logo on it and whatnot. And it says uh, Marvel's Black Panther. And it's Mac. They had like a whole collection for it. But this is like what they had like, in this little box. And it's a little Mac box. So, 
bought that recently and today I got Fire Emblem Engaged. I picked this up from GameStop earlier today. Um, and it came with like these little tarot cards. So I pre-ordered, uh, this is gonna be hard to open. I pre-ordered the Divine Edition on Amazon. I tried to get out the store. Uh, I tried to get it out the store, but they didn't have no extra copies, so I basically have this copy and I ordered another copy. So uh, yeah, I have to. I'm gonna struggle to get these open. These are really hard to open. Wait a minute. Let me open this. Yeah, this fucking box. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, this box is tight as hell, bro. I cannot get them out. Okay. I could not get these cards out without ripping the damn box. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they're they're definitely Fire Emblem Terra card deck. Okay. So these are I don't know what these are. These are Fire Emblem uh Terror cards, apparently. They kind of all look the same to me. I have no clue what these are. I mean, I see what they are, but I don't really know what they actually are. <laughs> uh, they got characters from Fire in the Moon, like in terror card form. So, yeah, let's see. Do we have Ike on here somewhere? Where's Ike? Where the hell is Ike at? That kind of looks like Marth. Uh, um, damn, I think it might be this one, one of them, but, um, yeah, it has, um, yeah, Fire Emblem, um, uh, characters on them, but they're, um, terror cards, so, yeah, I, I struggle to get this box up, I low-key messed the box up, so, yeah, those can go back in there. It's a tight end squeeze, but yeah, tarot cards, firing tarot cards, <laughs> and then it's the game itself. So, yeah, firing on my mind, gonna lie. Today, well, tonight, I plan on playing my Xbox, so I'm not gonna get to this whatsoever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this when I can play it. I get to it, so yeah, there, there's your, <sighs> there's your inside art, and there's your game card, so, yeah, I probably should take that game card out, but like I said, I'm not gonna play that anyway tonight, cause, I don't know, I'm just not, it's, it's probably similar, not similar, but, you know, combat system is probably like three hopes and three houses, I almost feel like once you play, not once you play every Fire Emblem game, not every, but once you play a few of them, they seem kind of similar. I mean, it's the same franchise, but I'm not going to get to that any, I don't feel, I mean, I might load it up on the Switch, but I don't think I'm really play it, play it like that. No time, uh, you know, not in the next upcoming days or so, but, uh, yeah, so, um, that's my video with the most recent stuff I got. I hope I didn't go on the I offend you PlayStation people type of rant. Oh, man. But, anyways. I mean, well. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Like I said, it's not my preference of console. It's just not. I just own one because I just own it. But, um, at the end of the day, if, like I said, if you prefer the PlayStation over the Xbox, you prefer the Xbox. PlayStation or Xbox, if it's vice versa, you know, you with me, you just prefer the Xbox or PlayStation. Like I said, it's just based on whatever your preference is. Neither one of them, I feel like if you got one or you got both, neither one is going to change your mind to like the other one better than the other one if you prefer the other one over that one to begin with. So, uh, yeah, even though I already said that, but uh, yeah, that is the end of this video. Thanks for watching.